All right. Third time's a charm, baby. That's Hey everybody, Big Mess, Tuck and CG Fly Shop from our wonderful Waynesville location. And as they say, the third time's a charm, baby. And we're gonna blow this bad boy out of the water today. I'm gonna talk to you about the Sage R8 Fly Rod, which I have broken apart here in front of me. Not broken, broken apart. Let's clarify that real quick like. Yeah, some of us do have those accidents and that's why a warranty is really important. Let's think about that for just a minute. If you've got a Sage Fly Rod, you know that you've got a warranty that's gonna repair or replace that fly rod. If you have anything go wrong with it, if you break it, they're not gonna ask you, but I will tell you this, they will know how that rod got broken. I guarantee you that, no problem. So let's talk about the Sage R8 and let's talk about a practical rod review. I wanna look at it, and us at the Tuck CG Fly Shop talked about this. We want it to be a very practical fishing application rod review. Things that we experience, the ways that we fish here, maybe the ways we fish out west, how this rod's gonna be great, how it might not be so great for you. Those things that you need to keep in mind. It's easy to do an awesome deep dive into rod technology and all of this stuff out there that when you're fishing, you don't really think about it. You wanna know one thing. Number one, will it cast the fly I wanna cast? Number two, will it mend the line that I need to mend? Does it fit my hand? Those are the things that are important. And I feel like those are things that are often overlooked in a lot of these rod reviews out there. So right off the bat, you can see I've got a nine foot five weight here in front of me. It's a four piece rod. It comes with a great uh, aluminum rod tube, which I do feel like is important. For me, getting a rod tube that is like this versus a Cordura tube, when I spend this kind of money on a rod, it does mean a lot to me. That's me, that's my opinion. That's not anyone else's opinion in a company, that is just me. So first and foremost, I am really like the fact that Sage gives you a high quality rod tube. I wanna protect my investment. I'm not saying Kadura is not gonna do it, but I have seen those kind of warp in the sun in the past, and I don't want that to happen when I've spent this kind of money on the rod. So I'm gonna pick up this rod, go over a few little items here with you, and I'm gonna talk about the fishing practicality and where this rod could be a fit for you, it may not be a fit for you. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice that this rod is kind of a greenish, grayish color is kind of what I'd call it. Uh, one of the cool features that they have on this that you don't see in all the rods today, for me it's important, for some it's not, is, is the hook holder, um, the fly holder I should call it. It depends on where you kind of use this. Uh, some people, guides, will run that up to the further guides as, as they keep the rod put together, as I'm trying to say. Some will do it right here, but I feel like, hey, if you spend this kind of money, you need to have that there whether you like to use it or not use it. Uh, down here at your real seat area, you have this nice wooden insert in here. It is a one nut locking system here. It does have a little bit of a washer that's gonna keep it from backing off. And if you've ever had a, uh, a one of these back off on you, it's not a great feeling. You don't want your reel to fall off in the water. And has it happened to me before? Absolutely. So they've got this wonderful technology that's gonna keep that locked in place there for you. But when you're done fishing, you wanna break it down, you're gonna be able to loosen that up, back it down. They also take the time with the graphic of putting on the rod weight on here. So if you have a couple of different sages, uh, this could be important to you if this is your only sage. Quick glance to know that it's a five weight if you're looking for a specific tool for that particular day. As you move your way up the blank, you're gonna notice all the technology and the serial number for this particular rod. One thing I will point out that's important to me, may not be important to you, is there the lack of alignment dots on this rod. That is super important to me. And the reason why it is, I'm old in my age. Well, I'm not old, I'm not too old, but I've got it. All right, so where's my reel gonna sit in here versus where I'm gonna put my, um, my pieces together? So having that alignment dot makes it easier and it makes it quicker. Less time I spend rigging my rod up, the more time I can spend on the water. You have your Fuji guides and snake guides on your particular sage rod here as well. The grip, the sage does a wonderful job on their grips. They use a lot of the high-end cork on this, and this grip actually fits my hand quite nicely. I have smaller hands, and I have problems in some cases finding a rod when I pick it up that fits me well. 
That is something you need to consider when you purchase a rod. If it doesn't fit your hand well, if it's not comfortable, you're not gonna wanna fish it and you've made an investment into it, so you want it to fit. It's like a pair of shoes, man. If the shoes don't fit, you ain't gonna wear them, but you spent the money on them. Now, let's talk about the technology in this rod. Sage has been making rods for nearly four decades. They're made in the USA, and that's fantastic. I'm glad for that. But they're also out there where there's a lot of aerospace engineering. For people like me that don't know a whole lot about aerospace engineering, there's a lot of smart people out there in that neck of the woods that do a lot of stuff with flying and things. Well, somehow Sage has got their hands on some of that technology, and they put that into this Sage R8. So what does that mean, big mess? I won't tell you what it means. It means you've got a fast action rod that gives you a little bit more feel of a medium action rod with the feedback. Hmm, well, what does that mean? That means you can feel a little bit more of what your rod's doing without having this, uh, you know, uh, you're getting that feedback in that cast. That's what I'm trying to say in simple down to earth terms. I will recommend that you use a regular weighted line. True weighted line is what I should say. A half size heavy or full size heavy line on this rod is not going to feel quite as well in your hand. We do find that it performs better with just, if it's a five weight, you put a five weight line on it. If it's a four, put a true four weight line on it. There's no sense in overweighting this. In our opinion though, it actually makes the performance less on this rod and that's not what you want to do. Fast action rods today, uh, for some people, is the way to go. I like a kind of a medium action rod, but there is definitely a use for this rod for you folks that like medium action rods because it feels like that too. The feedback is fantastic. Well, let's talk about fishing applications. Sage has got a wide variety of models and links in this particular rod. Basically, like I said it earlier, it'll cover anything from the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which could be a four or a three weight, anything to the Yellowstone National Park, which might be a five or a six weight. Whether you're throwing dry flies, two dry flies, a dry dropper setup, some streamers, there is an R8 for you. If you folks have any questions about this rod, seriously, any, any questions about this rod, please call us, 828-488-3333. You can almost also email the company, that's info at tuckflyshop.com. But the most important thing is, and I stress this, when you go to purchase a rod like this, we need you to come into the shop. The reason why you come into a shop is you need to put the rod in your hand, we need to get a reel on there for you, and you need to see how this rod feels in your hand. When you get this on here, you're gonna realize, and you start casting it, how light the swing weight is on this rod. Well, why is that important? Well, you know, fatigue. I mean, seriously, fatigue. If you're out there fishing all day, uh, if you're tired, you're gonna sit down. You wanna spend more time fishing. So it's less fatigue on your shoulder, so that nice swing weight. You're also gonna realize what line you need to put on this rod when you purchase this rod and what really you wanna put on it. So come into the shop, let's put the rod in your hand, let's cast the rod, and that way you can make an intelligent decision on if this rod is right for you. Well, where do we do that at? It's real simple. You can come in here to Waynesville, see Justin or whoever. That's 110 Depot Street, Waynesville, North Carolina. Uh, you can stop by Silva, 530 West Main Street, Silva. And of course, you can stop down and see Taylor at Bryson City, which is 3 Depot Street, Bryson City. I'd like to hear back from you. If you currently have an R8, put down in the comment sections what you think about this rod. Uh, you could have a three weight. Love to hear what your thoughts are on a three weight. You might have a seven weight, throwing streamers. Love to hear that feedback, as well as our other um, viewers and listeners as well. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you here in the shop. Thank you folks for watching, and y'all take care.